しょう National Wayfinding Month is a month where you can literally find your way by reading stars, listening to nature and energy, and, and navigating this way. If you've seen Disney's movie Moana, they use that. They use wayfinding in order to find um, the, the mountain. You, I urge you 100 percent to go research it, learn about it, and do it in every way that you possibly can. Because you will never be lost. Ever. You can always find your way. So, happy way finding one. And I hope you find a way to really celebrate this and navigate through all of those curves and turns going to throw at us this month because it's inevitable. It just happens. But it's okay because we'll always find a way. Happy celebrating and I'll see you next time. Bye. You got it. It is time for our awesome affirmations. So what are awesome affirmations and why are they important? Well, I'll tell you. Don't worry. So awesome affirmations are to reclaim our awesomeness into the entire world. The reason they're important is because they use some of the most powerful words in the English dictionary, which are the words I am. Anything following those words are literally creating a reality. So we use these to reclaim our muchness and our awesomeness in the entire world. So every single day we wake up awesome and we feel awesome every single day because we know we're the awesomest, right? You can repeat after me if you want, but if not, it's totally cool. Um, the words will still soak into your subconscious and go where they need to go. I am awesome. I'm the awesomest person alive. I'm having an awesome day. I'm doing awesome things today. I am the creator of awesome things. It's true. I am awesomely fulfilled. I am totally open to awesome coming my way. I am wonderful, beautiful, talented, strong. Oh yeah, and awesome. They're pretty awesome, right? You're pretty awesome too. Did you know that? I know you're awesome, but sometimes it's nice to have someone else tell you, right? So these are the condensed version of my awesome affirmations. If you'd like the full version, please check out my YouTube channel. Love to see you there. Happy holidays, stay awesome. Okay, so my entire life, my entire professional career, I always thought the harder I worked, the faster I would get 
to the position that I wanted to be in, which I guess is technically true. It made me work and learn a lot, but at the same time, it's not true at all. Because if you don't take time to relax for yourself, then you, you're you losing out on a, on a whole other part of you that would make you even more complete in this area. So whenever I, whenever I started learning about, um, about balance and flowing, it really, it was such a hard thing for my mind to grasp. The balance of flow and, and ebb and the balance of giving and receiving, the balance of action and, and stillness. I learned very quickly that women nowadays, a lot of women anyways, are stuck in the masculine form of, of living, where we're very action oriented. Like women aren't scared nowadays to go out and do 500 different things in order to do what they want to do. But at the same time, that's more masculine. That's a masculine action that's doing, that's giving, that's not receiving what women are naturally born to do. And so I had to figure out a balance between the two. And today, my horoscope actually just told me that if I didn't find balance between my work life and my personal life and just having fun, then I it would be more like I was hiding rather than rather than trying to be seen, being vulnerable, being authentic, being true to myself. Because if I am just sitting at work all day, I'm not a work person. Yeah, I love to work. I'm very good at it. And whenever I get to working, whenever I start working, I get wrapped up in everything. Like, you can't get me to stop. I actually had to pry myself away. I usually wake up around like 4.30 in the morning. I'll go work out, get tan, um, if I feel like it that day. Sometimes I don't tan, I'm still pretty pale right now, as you can tell. <laughs> but, um, I'll go out, do that kind of stuff, let my dog out, eat breakfast, um, and I'll do all that before 6 o'clock. So by the time everyone is, else is waking up and going to work, I'm already working. I already have things done that I need to have done for the day and then by the time I have to pry myself away from work by the time they get off of work I'm like oh shit it's like six o'clock Kim you've got to stop working <laughs> but that's just me that's something that I had to do so whenever I heard that today I was like okay I am definitely going to um to go have some fun I'm definitely going to relax today and with me, I just got to a new area, but it's a new area that my family happens to live in. So instead of just going out and um, working all the time, I will uh, go to my sister's house and hang out with her and my cousin and my niece, which are some of the most amazing people that I've ever met in my entire life. And I have so much fun with my niece. Um, she's helping me experience my exterior inner child world, which is a whole different story and I'm getting off topic now and I'm sorry about that. Where was I going with this? <sighs> sorry, my sister popped out of her house. I don't remember. Oh yeah. So what it was is, <laughs> is you have to make time for the things that you aren't going to burn out from. Like, you can't just work constantly all the time because you need that time to relax. You need that time to actually be yourself and not be in work mode. Which is what I'm doing today. I just arrived at my sister's house and apparently she just saw me. So I'm going inside and we're going to hang out and watch movies probably. I don't know probably eat something whatever so don't hide behind your work and don't hide behind only play there's a balance between the two and you can find it just have to prioritize both in one day just prioritize both work and pleasure 
every single day. And the card of the day is... Dawn. Look at that beautiful sunrise. The light's just beaming over everything. As the world wakes up, so will you. The dawn comes every single day reminding us there is light at the end of the dark. There will always be a new day. And every single day that we choose to live our life to the fullest extent of every ability we have is a new beginning for us. So congratulations. You can finally chose close that chapter that you've been writing, that you've been working on. This is something brand new for you and you alone. Enjoy it. I'm a kangaroo!